living on the edge. Literally, we're uplifting Arizona tonight, just days before an Arizona woman hopes to make a record setting hike at the Grand Canyon. Imagine hiking across one of the world's most breathtaking landscapes, rugged cliffs, steep switchbacks, all without being able to see a single step of the journey. You know, there's so many dangers involved with this. This weekend, Sean Cheshire, a 49 year old Army veteran and Paralympic cycling champion, will not only attempt to hike the Grand Canyon from North Rim to South Rim, but become the first blind person to do it without a guide. I seem to have this knack since losing my vision that when someone makes a statement about what they think a blind person can or cannot do, I tend to want to prove that wrong. She proved her doubters wrong when she made the Olympic team, learned to ski and snowboard, and even rode her bike across the country. But the words of a well-known mountaineer now motivate her next adventure. And he made a statement saying that blind people would always be tourists because we always need a guide. In 2018, led by guides, she became the first blind woman to hike the Grand Canyon rim to rim and back following verbal cues and bells from her team. This time she'll rely only on her senses and experience as she makes the 24 mile trek. And now I have to be able to think about every foot placement and keeping my knees soft and using my hiking poles to keep my balance. And it's also, it's also, you know, with switchbacks and stuff, I'm constantly feeling what's on the side. So I know where I am in the trail that I'm not wandering too close to the edge. She'll have two friends following her, but they'll only intervene in an absolute emergency. A GPS tracker will allow folks at home to follow her journey. Sean says clearly she doesn't want to die, but sometimes pushing your limits is the only way to truly live. I believe in hard work. I believe in determination and dedication, and it's always a choice with how we show up every day. I'm ABC 15's Cameron Polum, and that's Uplifting Arizona.